Hello, class. Next, follow me to learn about image filters. Today we are going to learn about distort filters which are very common in filters. Then we will introduce three cases to you. Through these three cases we learn how to use distort filter. Including water waves, rotational distortion, glass, spheroidization. Let's look at the first case first. It is a water wave effect. It's a bit like chocolate and something like that. An advertising effect after melting into liquid. First, create a new file. Select the gradient tool. Then select the starting color. It's dark blue. The end color is blue. Click OK. And then, select linear gradient. In this picture we can observe that. Inside the water waves there is some white light. So we need to use a white brush. Turn the nib a little smaller. We can draw some lines and paint some dots first. At this time you can use the distort filter. Select water wave. We can try it out there are three styles here. Have different effects. Here we use around the center. Such an effect. Quantity selection 100, this is the most distorted. The bigger the fluctuation number is, the more circles of water waves. You don't need that much here. It would be nice to have four circles here. Click OK. Then the water waves appear. However, in order to make the effect better, we continue to use the rotate distort in the distort filter. Distort at a certain angle. Let it distort again the effect is even better. Now let's make this outstanding effect. Select the shape drawing in the pen tool. Draw. A triangle. Then hold down the control key. Activate a node of a triangle. Move these two nodes of it slightly inward. Hold down the Alt key to convert this node. Become curved on both sides. The other two nodes are the same. Also press the Alt key. OK, then press the Alt key again. Pull one of the pull rods inside. Turn into this curve. Choose here first pull again. Press the Alt key to pull. Press the Control key to pull these two nodes out a little. OK, so this object is also filled with blue. Right click and we'll rasterize the shape. Turn it into a normal bitmap. Finally, we can use the lightening and deepening tools to make adjustments. Darken this side a little. Fade the other side a little. In this way, there is a three-dimensional effect. Then add a layer mask. Use a black brush. Of course, the hardness is 0%. Click below height slowly. Form a gradient effect. Hide it. OK, this case is finished. Let's make the second case now. This case is done using wave and polar coordinates. OK, let's create a new file. This file should be a square. Then use the gradient tool to fill in the black and white gradient. Request that the bottom is black. It's white on it and there are many black parts. So the starting point is a little higher. Hold down the shift key. The white part is less. Then use the filter menu, twist waves. Here the generator is set to 5. Then the difference between the maximum and minimum wavelengths is 1. The amplitude is the same. Here it's 33. Here is 29, can produce 6 leaves like this. 
you can set it according to my parameter. Okay, at this time there are 6 leaves then use the polar coordinates in filter distortion. Use plane coordinates to polar coordinates in polar coordinates. You can twist a square into a circle. Using polar coordinates to plane coordinates will produce this divergent effect. Here we select plane coordinates to polar coordinates. Then 6 leaves are produced. This is very clever. Next, select Filter Menu Filter Library Select Sketch and Chrome Gradient Inside. It is very clever to turn it into a displaced 4 color effect. But it's still 6 leaves. Here, the details and smoothness are set to the maximum. Then click OK. OK, then add color to it. Let's create a new layer. Select Orange Gradient in Gradient. Give it a linear gradient. Then blend the two layers. Use colors to blend. Then, at this time, there is a beautiful glazed four colors of this luminous effect. Its color, hue, and saturation are applied here. So this case is completed. Now let's look at the third case. This case is a golf ball. It is realized by using the glass and sphericity in the distortion filter. Let's create a new file. Fill in a green background create a new layer. On this layer, we choose black and white gradient. Fill in a black and white gradient. Let the gray part be a little more. Then in filter, twist. But there is no backslash peel filter backslash in it. In CC version, stripping filter is placed in filter library. In the distortion group of the filter library. It has glass. After selecting glass first, select small lens for texture. There are frosted canvas and block in it. We choose small shot here. Then adjust its distortion. The greater the distortion, the clearer it becomes. Then adjust the smoothness, the greater the smoothness, the more fuzzy it is. The smaller the smoothness, the clearer it is. Take control of its degree here yourself. And the size of small lens points. Adjust here. The smaller the adjustment, the smaller the point of the small lens. OK, that's it. Click OK. Then use the ellipse selection tool. Hold down the shift key to draw a perfect circle. We want this part. Select Filter Distortion. Spherization in the menu bar let it protrude. Look, this piece is protruding. Then press Ctrl plus J. Copy it to a new layer. This is not needed. Move it with the Layer Move tool. Press Ctrl plus T. Shrink it a little. Press Enter. Then we choose. Image, Adjustment, Scale Tool. Turn it up a little brighter. First, drag its middle color block to the left. The image brightens up. Then make the white part whiter. OK, now the whole ball is whitened. This is the third case. Now to sum up. Today, we learned the use of this set of filters through three cases. It should be emphasized here that many filters with solid colors do not work. So the first step in today's three cases is to make a gradient. After you have a gradient, use these filters. These filters can work. OK, let's arrange an assignment. Is to use the twist filter to complete this renderings. This picture is very much like a flower. It's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching I wish you all a wonderful day.